particularly recent this question, I got this wrong. When n equal to x plus y, 2 less than x less than 10, 14 less than y less than 23. So 15, 16, 17, all the way till 22, 3, 4, 5, 6, all the way till 9. Then how many distinct values are possible for n? Lovely. It's a very simple question. n is greater than 25. What is the maximum value n can take? 9 plus 22 is 31. n can be 31. You do 8 plus 22, it can be 30. It can be 29. Every integer less than that is possible. Right. So step by step, 31, 30 is possible, 29 is possible, 28 is possible, 27 is possible, 26 is possible, 25 is possible, and so on. Wait a second, n has to be greater than 25. Leave all this, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, done. Yours truly is a genius in this. <laughs> and I said, I found out the all, number of possible ways of x plus y that are possible, x, y, and n that are possible. So for 32, it's 9 plus 22. For 30, it can be 9 plus 21 and 8 plus 22. I found all of this, added all of that, and, and, and it's 21. So I took so much time to find that. Yeah, and got the wrong answer. Fine. Should, lesson one is read the question clearly. The question is not saying how many possible values are there for x and y. It's saying how many possible values are there for n. That's just six values. 26 to 31. Done. Fine. So be careful.